All right, so today we're going to be reviewing um, measurement of angles. So we're going to review how to convert from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. I know we did this before we went on break, um, <clears throat> but it's important that we review it because we're going to be using this in the next few lessons. So on here it says to change from radians to degrees, you need to multiply by 180 over pi. Okay, and then if we're going from degrees to radians, then we need to multiply by pi over 180. So here it says write each degree measure <clears throat> in radians. So that means that we are going to use the second one. Okay, and we're going to leave it as a multiple of pi. Okay, so we're going to leave it in terms of pi. So here we're going to take the angle measure number nine is 30 degrees. And so we are going to multiply it times pi over 180. And so on here, um, we do 30 times pi divided by 180. So in our calculators, what we're going to put is we're going to do 30 over 180. And that is in terms of pi. So we're not going to put the pi in our calculator. So here to the right of the screen, I do have my Desmo scientific calculator open. I'll go ahead and leave <clears throat> the link to the scientific calculator. That way you guys can use it if you need it. And so on here, we are going to put 30 on top and then on the bottom we are going to put 180 180 and then we enter and so if you see it says your answer shows up on the side and we click the little fraction there and it'll switch it to a flat a fraction so it's one over six <clears throat> so this is going to be equal to one over oh whoops one over six and then pi would stay on the top now usually we do not write the one there the one becomes invisible it becomes imaginary so we're going to put pi over six and that would be our answer okay so let's go ahead and move on to the next one <clears throat> this one is negative 225 degrees so to change it into radians we're going to have to multiply times pi over 180 and we want it in terms of pi so what we're going to do is in our calculators, we are going to put negative 225 divided by 180. And then that'll tell us our radian measure in terms of pi. So that's what I'm going to put in here. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and delete all this. I press a fraction and then on the top, I'm going to put negative 225. And then on the bottom, we are going to put 180. We hit enter and it gives me negative 1.25, but I want that as a fraction. So you have to click the fraction on the right side of it. And then it gives you negative five over four. So then we are going to write this as negative five pi over four. All right, and the next one, this one is 50 degrees. So we're gonna write this in radian measure. So we're going to have to multiply times pi over 180. This is equal to 50 over 180 times pi. <clears throat> and so in our calculators, I'm going to put 50, I forgot to put the, the fraction, 50 over 180. And then we press enter, and then we go ahead and press a little fraction on the side. And it changes it to a fraction, so that's going to be 5 over 18. So to rewrite this, it's going to be 5 pi over 18. Okay. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction. So now they want us to write each radian measure in degrees. So the first one is 3 pi over 4. So since we are writing it in degrees, instead of multiplying times pi over 180, we're going to have to multiply it times 180 over pi. So we're trying to get rid of the pi at the top. So that's why the pi is now at the bottom. So this pi cancels with this pi and we are left with, on the top we have three. We're gonna have to multiply that times 180 and then we're going to divide by four. That's what we have on the bottom is a four. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my calculator. I'm gonna do three times 180 and then on the bottom, we are going to put the four and then enter and it gives me 135. Okay, so that's how many degrees three pi over four is equal to is 135 degrees. 
Right, the next one, we have negative pi over 3. So to change this into degrees, we are going to multiply it times 180 over pi. Okay, we're trying to cancel out the pi since we're changing it into degrees. So the pi on top cancels with the pi on bottom. <clears throat> so on the top, all we have left is the 180. And remember, there's a negative here in the front. So on the top, we have the 180. And on the bottom, we have a 3. So 180 divided by 3, this one I know, so I'm not going to plug it in my calculator. It's going to give us negative 60 degrees. All right. And the last one, number 14, this is negative 11 pi over 6. So to change it into degrees, we are going to have to multiply times 180 over pi. Remember, we're trying to cancel out the pi. So if we have a pi on top and a pi on bottom, they cancel each other out. So then now all we have left on the top is going to be 11 times 180. And then we have this 6 on the bottom. Okay, and then there's still this negative that's in the front. So I'm going to put negative and then my fraction on the top we have 11 times 180. And then on the bottom we have a 6. And we hit enter and that gives us negative 330. So that means negative 11 pi over 6 is the same thing as negative 330 degrees. That's it. So go ahead and try out the quizzes. Um, if you guys have any questions, remember to leave it in the comments and I'll go ahead and try to answer them as soon as possible. Bye.